So we separate everything to keep it uh, safe and above board. A mistake made in this kitchen could make a customer seriously ill or even kill them. It doesn't matter what is in the sandwich, it does matter that the customer knows about it. The new law means food made in-house and pre-packaged there must have labels with all the ingredients and allergens. For a simple three-ingredient sandwich, you can have quite a, uh, an alarmingly long ingredients list. So, so we've acknowledged that and we focused on uh, ingredients that are less processed and everything so that, that our offering looks far more attractive to the customers and doesn't look like we've got a sort of, you know, the Old Testament of ingredients there. For owner Chloe, it's been a challenge, but technology is helping work out what should be on the labels. To be honest, it's open up discussion with allergens and stuff, and a lot of my customers that I've been speaking to about, um, about the law coming in either don't have, don't have a, a clue about it, or some of them will say that their kids have allergens and they actually worry about their safety when they go into to shops and stuff like that, and to like cafes and stuff. The new law gets its name from Natasha Ednan Laparus after a campaign by her parents. The 15-year-old died in 2016, having eaten a sandwich from Pret-a-Manger that contained sesame, a deadly allergen for Natasha that wasn't on the label. If she were here now with us and this law had come through somehow, she would have a sweatshirt or T-shirt with that emblazoned across and be going, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, she would, because uh, she was always yeah. quite funny. She yeah. was just had a... a, a a really kooky sense of humour. She was great fun, um, but she would have known, obviously, she would have understood the seriousness of it. Businesses have had around two years to prepare for this law change, but some research by the global standards organisation GS1 UK just last month found that only four in ten businesses had heard of Natasha's law and a similar number were still to make any preparations ahead of this law change. But if businesses don't get up to speed, they will be punished. At the beginning, Local authorities will take a proportionate approach to enforcement, so they'll be offering advice and guidance. If they don't, then an improvement notice will be issued. And then in the long run, if that notice wasn't followed, there could be an unlimited fine for businesses. This is just a first step for Natasha's parents, who want an allergy czar to take responsibility for keeping customers safe in the future. Toby Sadler, 5 News.